So as I mentioned, um, I feel really bad about that past recording session. That was a mess. Um, no, 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 no. That was a shit show. That is the definition of a shit show. That was me losing my absolute mind and going places I specifically wanted not to go. And I regret it. But you can't take it back. Not without screwing all the pooches. I could restart. I don't want to do the musical segments again. So we're just going to go forwards with our lives. Move on. As they say. Into episode two. Attack of the Clones. It turns out Fang was in a cloning facility. Oh. Yep. By the way, I can't imagine that's healthy. Like, power restart like that. Uh, what? Just text back. Say hello. Very funny. Do we go to school together? I mean, I went very funny, but I know let's be inquisitive this time. Dino gang. Now, you know what? If I'm going to do this... Oh, no, please, please, please. I, 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 I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to do this anyway. Might as well... Might as well actually ham it up a little bit, you know? Might as well might as well yuck it up a little bit. I'm, I've already yucked it so bad that at this point anything is an improvement, realistically speaking. I hate landmines, though. They're not fun. I think they would work way better if the system was a bit more integrated and had a bit more mechanics to it. Uh... What? Like, why is that one of the options? It was scary! Whatever it was. Ooh! Anyone else get this? Like, is this, just, is just, is this the weather? Everyone's getting... getting? No. <laughs> It's end of the world. Everyone gets one. But I think it's from his ex. Oh, his, his brother is Orson, by the way. He's already mentioned, like, he does deliveries and stuff. That's so awkward. The energy is wild. Just a random phone number. Can I also point out that the asteroid has, like, the best dramatic timing when it comes to the, uh, the power outages? They happen, like, at the Battle of the Bands after the show and during, like, at a weirdly, thematically, and dramatically appropriate moment, and now, too. Like, oh, they've announced it, and it shows... I don't know. Whoever's, whoever's holding the, the power switch to the town needs to, needs to get a new job, because he's, he's a little too good at it. Woo! Secret admirer. Now that's an exciting asteroid contest. Wait. Is, is, it, is it a meteor or an asteroid? I need to know. Yeah, I mean, listen, you might as well... You need to know what names to call him. You gotta know what, what to yell at him. Whoa. There's already a meme page. Of course there is. People are the best after all. Like. So much you could have done with this. It's a bit flat. It's a bit flat. Like. Oh, you have to wait a second for this to show up? Well, God, gosh, diddly dang it. Gotta watch my language, too. I swore like a sailor. And that's just not gonna fly anymore. What's the internet say? Oh, we still gotta do a doom score. Like I said, there's a lot of interesting ideas that just don't get used the way they should have been. Which is with a little bit of zest. A little bit of passion. A little bit of love. Like the doom scrolling thing? You can use that multiple times. Not a lot of people tell you don't use, don't use X, Y, or Z too many times in a row. Because it weakens the thematic element. But if you use it well, it kind of bolsters the idea. Like, every time Fang is sitting still, there's doom scrolling, And it always has the interesting comments, maybe some funny statements. Maybe it's where the cool memes are hidden. Maybe it's where you put the cool art. But if you look at it, Fang feels worse. And you lose out on those precious Fang self-love points. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Very easily said and done. And you just lock a couple of scenes behind never Oh. Ideas. They're easy. Execution is hard. I know that because I've been executing a lot. And it's hard. You should get some sleep, man. Let it simmer in your brain. One, the door is back. Two, I love how Nasser shows up, because normally when you say don't, you go downstairs to see him, and they they really want this. Hey, you... This also means that technically speaking, them deciding to stay here has, like, quantum effects, which, again, is fine. Look, I'm fine with that. But if you're gonna do it, do it with the asteroid. Um, you hear the news? Bloodlust. Uh, let's give him a little pep talk. Yeah. People are freaking out. 
But no one really knows anything yet. It's probably nothing. Tell that to Naomi. She's been texting me Ask. I'd like to point out that, the, that there's a, a lot of people, there's, there's a lot of arguments about this, but I personally feel that if things are going bad and you know that you can do better, or at least try to make things a bit better, do it. You never know if the, if the yes you gave might have been the thing that helped someone get through the day. You know, just like they, they said in Snoop Game, everyone's fighting their own Droid battles. facts, and they are high-octane nightmare fuel. Sounds like Naomi. That's how you know they're good you facts. You know every fact she sends me has been cross-checked with at least three verified sources. Kind of hard to dismiss. Hit me with some... Uh, uh, hit me with some... Because I, I know a lot of these anyway. Let me hear some. Well, okay. For a start, this is the biggest object to get this far into the solar system in... In... Ever. Yikes. Good thing it's... I don't know what it is, but I saw this with Naomi too when I was re-looking at some of the old footage. And Naomi's sitting on the couch and like Fang is standing in the doorway. But they're... Their asses and hips are so chunky when they sit down. They are so angular. It's awkward as, as I don't even know what's going on anymore. Not gonna hit us, then. Yeah. Seriously? It's not. There's already memes about it, and that means it'll be over in, like, a month. Yeah? Yeah, no, you're right. Thanks. Trust me. You staying up? You wanna know why they do a lot of stuff like this in recording studios? Because, um, sound quality. Uh, you can tell the acoustics. Um, there's something I wanted to look up here that I think he just mentioned. What was it again? There was something he said that I wanted to look up. Biggest object? Okay, so... Uh, Hitchhiker's... Hitchhiker's Guide to a Space Quote. Um, how big is space, according to it? No, no, that's not the one. In the opening section, it's like space is really big. Like, you have no idea how gosh darn big it is. Big. Tell me how big space is, Hitchhiker Guide. I desire to know how big space is. Oh, I love this. Man, that's a that's a good introduction quote. Far out in, uh, in the uncharted backwaters of the unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small unregarded yellow sun. Orbiting this at a distance of roughly 92 million miles is the utterly insignificant little blue-green planet whose ape-descended life forms are so amazingly primitive they still think digital watches are a neat idea. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get to that. Um, is it later, then? Oh, here we go. Here's the quote. Space, it says, is really big. Re is big. Really big. You wouldn't believe how vastly, hugely, mind bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but that's just peanuts to space. And I think that's true. Space is huge. If Jupiter entered the solar system, yes, it would probably be the biggest object, because it's the biggest object that isn't the sun. <laughs> that's an easy contest, buddy. But yeah, like, space is huge. Two objects colliding is weird, especially if it's not because of gravity reasons. Like, if something hits you out of nowhere, like a fly on your windscreen, that's just weird. No. Gonna head to bed. I think it turned on autoplay again, because like I said, this game is made by a bunch of clowns.